Hi, I'm John Basco from AICHE Connected, and we're at the 2011 annual meeting uh, at the student poster uh, session. I'm here with Surya Manavanu uh, from uh, West Virginia University, and she's going to tell us, tell me and the audience a little bit about her poster. Okay, well, I worked at uh, WVU, and the project is called The Synthesis A Characterization of Chloroplasts Conjuries for Antibacterial Coding. So uh, the basic idea of chlorpyroxidase or CPO has um, basic antibacterial properties that can be incorporated into coatings that can be used for um, a long term coating. And the problem is whenever you incorporate just free immobilized or immobilized CPO into a coating, it leaches out over time. So the solution is to immobilize them onto nanotubes in order to stabilize them. And this would prevent the leaching and also increase the loading into the coating to do increase the surface area. And it would stabilize CPO and add something called a reusability factor, which would be very beneficial in the industrial process. Okay. So we basically synthesized these nanotubes. We also saw what would happen if we added spacers um, between the enzyme and the nanotubes and saw what the effects of that were. So we took some AFM images, um, uh, basically confirmed that they were the enzymes were loading onto the nanotubes. And then we found out how much of the enzyme was loading onto the nanotube. And we found that with increased cutting time by acid wash, the loading would increase, so would the activity. But whenever we added peg linkers, the amount of enzyme loaded onto the nanotube would decrease, but the activity would actually increase. So this is very good. That means they are less, the enzymes are not deactivating as much on the nanotubes. And we also found out that how much hypochlorous acid was being generated using this reaction. And because basically hypochlorous acid is what the antibacterial component is. And the next step was to see what their bacterial killing efficiency was by um, suspending them in solutions of E. coli, E. coli, and seeing what happens. And we found that whenever you combine all these components, within one minute, the killing efficiency is 100%. So this is one which is to control each of the colonies are marked orange, and then this is after a minute. So currently, we are looking into what would happen if we would incorporate it into a code and see what the efficiency was. And then we're also looking at using other enzymes. We found that glucose oxidase has a higher activity than CPO. Mm. So those are a few short right Excellent. Well, it sounds like you've done a lot of work, and I'm sure all, everything that you've done will continue to benefit people in the, in the future. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too.